to BTN Live. The Fighting Illini football team is one win away from a bowl game. Their next chance to reach that six-win mark is on Saturday against Ohio State. So we're joined now by linebacker T.J. Neal. And T.J., what would it mean to get a bowl game under Coach Cubitt this year? Um, it will be very significant, you know, huge for the program, for everyone to go to another um, bowl game. I've been here for four years, and last year was a great experience to get to the bowl game down in Dallas, Texas. And it'd be huge for everyone to get get there this year. Bill Cubitt, of course, serving as interim head coach right now for the Illini. What does he bring to the team that is maybe different from the past few years? I believe he bring a lot of positive, a lot of he bring a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. You know, he inspired the guys before pregame. Do a great job of doing that, and he just he's just a good guy. One of the biggest improvements for the Illini is the defense had a great game against Purdue. Two interceptions. What positives can you take from that game moving forward? Just going out there, having fun, and playing with a lot of excitement, and doing your job, and just making plays when the opportunity comes. Who are some people you've seen improved on the defense and standout players that you see in practice and in games? Um, Chunky Clemens, um, DJ Smoot, Robbie Bain. Our whole front seven, I say, improved a lot. Jaha Ward, all of them guys has, has approved and made, made progress in being a better player from last year. Now, I hear you call him Chunky Clemens, and I have heard people say that a lot. Can you give me the story as to why you guys call him Chunky? Well, you know, I'm really close with Chunky, and um, he told me why they call him Chunky back at home. I guess he was a big, chunky kid growing up, and he was bigger than everybody, and he just grew into the name being, becoming Chunky. Now, on the other side of the ball, we saw Josh Ferguson come back in that Purdue game. He had a great game. What element does he bring to the offense? A lot of excitement. He's a dynamic runner, you know, great change of direction, you know, great speed. And he does a lot, you know, catch the ball at the backfield, you know, put him on a linebacker, you make him miss. He can take it all the way, too. Now, of course, you guys play Ohio State on Saturday. Earlier in this season when the Buckeyes faced Virginia Tech, your teammate Justin Hardy tweeted out that you guys would be the team to upset the Buckeyes. Has that been a talking point in the locker room? You know, um, all the guys think about making history. You know, they rank number three in the nation. This is a great opportunity to go out there and play and promote yourself and have fun and, you know, upset Ohio State. And it'd be great for the, um, the program to see what we're going to do here with the win against Ohio State. What messages is Coach Cubitt giving you guys about this game and just the potential of this season? Just go out there and have fun and be relentless and enjoy it. You know, you don't, you don't get too many opportunities to play number one ranked team in the nation. You don't get, get them opportunity as much. And throughout this week, you've been able to watch film on Ohio State. What do you expect from the Buckeyes? I expect them to um, pit us out in space, in particular me and Mason Maha, pick on the linebackers and uh, run a ball. We got a great running back. And lastly, you seem so composed, very serious. Tell me something that I wouldn't know about you. I'm a very funny guy. I bring a lot of excitement, and um, I enjoy myself, and I just, I just love the game of football. All right, good luck against Ohio State, and thanks for joining us, TJ. Uh, th thank you. Thank you.